Hi guys, it's Nancy here and I am back with my week 2 project life um, layout chair and um, hopefully this is going to be slightly less choppy than my first week um, so please bear with me um, I'm still not sure how much to show and how much not to show so I am editing quite a bit out um, as I said um, in my week 1 I like to pick a font that I'm going to use so I've picked this American Crafts foam one I do end up using one of these We Are Memory Keeper um, ones as well, um, but that's because the number was too small on the other one. So I'm really happy with how that looks, and again I'm using many of the Chamel cards for this um, layout. And this is um, week two, which again was the one I talked about in my planning video, so if you go back a few um, you'll be able to see that. And um, I've also created a playlist on my channel for my Project Life videos. So that is where you'll be able to go and see all of the Project Life ones. Um, it, of course, if they interest you. I know not everyone is interested by Project Life. So again, I'm just going to be using um, mainly bits from the, scrap, um, the Studio Calico kit for my embellishments. I've also pulled out these Jen Hadfield little glittery circles, which I got in the Chamel kit that I got for Christmas, um, her Christmas kit. And so I'm going to be using those for my embellishment and I'm going to be using, I say, the wood veneers. Um, I also pulled out two bits of washi tape, so I'm using gold and um, some kind of orangey colour. Um, it's the wood grain one that I have from Freckle Form, which is actually really, really rubbish, this one I'm now putting down. I, like, trying to peel it off the reel, um, I kept, it kept splitting, it was really annoying me, so... Um, I'm going to struggle with that, but I'm just adding that um, as a little bit of layer and a little bit of decoration both over my photos um, and different things. And I do like to keep my cards pretty simple and not put too much dimension on them, um, but I do like just adding some wood veneer and other little bits and pieces. So I am just now going from my little wood veneer stash here and I'm trying to find um, one of the smaller little. Um, lady potty people just to put on there and this is talking about me going back to the gym and so I'm really happy with how that came out and just adds a little bit to that card um, as I said I'm keeping these cards pretty simple um, and not adding too much dimension um, I'm using lots of my stamps which um, I'm really enjoying because I do have quite a lot of stamps and I haven't necessarily been using them enough so I'm really happy to get them used up so here I am um, just including some photos um, from my week back at work. So it's my new coffee mug I brought for this year. Um, I do like to buy a new mug each year at work. <coughs> it's also a picture of my desk and also me stuck in traffic um, on work. It's been a nightmare going back to work. I don't know what's going on. Like I have to go along quite a major road to get to um, work. And I just this first week I got stuck like every day. It was so annoying and like... I was texting my boss who was like in the car behind, you know, stuck behind me or in front of me in traffic. So we were kind of communicating, just saying, yeah, this is a nightmare. So, again, just using more stamps here just to add a little bit of interest to these cards. Um, not necessarily titles, but more little bits of annotation. I know when I picked this card out, I was going to have to cover that green up because um, it doesn't go with these layout pages. But I wanted to use the cream based journaling. So I am just. Um, using a couple of layers of the washi tape there. I think the wood grain one is from Freckled Fawn and the gold spot one is actually a stamping up one. So I'm just going through again my wood veneer to see if there's anything that I can add over the top of this. I do find a little car to add to that one. Um, that one is slightly too big though so I do end up um, having to root through my other huge box of wood veneers. <coughs> if you can see here. I have actually not filled this up recently a lot of them are still sitting in packets but this is where I used to store all of them so I am just pulling out some wood veneers that I think are going to be useful in this layout so there I've got a smaller camera and I add the little um, typewriter again it kind of symbolizes work in a way even though I don't type but it kind of works and I kind of you know like adding that consistency across the page of the wood veneer so now I've gone on to the second side of the layout and this is going to be my page talking about the book that I read this week and again I'm just adding some layers of washi tape and then this card is from the Chamel mini kit 
and I want to include this stamped image that I've coloured in <coughs> and I you know I really like that I'm including lots of these coloured images in because I do I'm doing a lot of them at the moment and I've got lots of cards that I want to make for people I haven't necessarily made them into cards yet so um, this is a great way to just make some little project life cards and filler cards to add to my album <coughs> I do apologise for my coughing. So I have just fussy cut that out um, and sticking that on there and I just I just love the embellishment that it adds. Here is where I'm going to be doing a bit about my crop and I realised that I didn't have enough I didn't print one of the photos that I wanted to print to put on that card. Rather than go back to my um, computer and print one out um, I decided that I was just going to use um, one of my coloured images and so um, you just saw me going through the pile of coloured images I had there and so I'm going to um, then add a little bit to this which I wasn't planning on doing until I made this which is just talking about um, how I'm enjoying colouring um, and you know my plans with that so you're going to add this novel element to that and there you can see on that project life card is how I'm now storing all my spectral noir pens <coughs> and it's much easier to transport around the place um, I have got that wood veneer there um, which I was going to add to this card <laughs> and then when I went to stick it down with my ATG because I couldn't find my wet glue I ended up breaking it and getting really frustrated and so that doesn't end up going up on going on this card but that was originally my plan so I apologise I appear to have left in my kind of cutting out here um, which I didn't uh, mean to do but hopefully I'll be able to cut a little bit of that out so there you go, there it is, it's all cut out now and I'm just sticking that down on this card. I absolutely love that image, it was really tiny though when I printed it out. Um, so <coughs> it was quite difficult to colour in. Um, but I really like um, how that looks and it just fills that card in um, brilliantly. Again I'm just pulling out one of those Studio Calico hearts to add to this page. Um, this card because you know I really want to get them used up and it just kind of adds a little bit of consistency across those pages so here is um, a card where I'm talking about my iPhone again I'm just covering up anything I don't want to necessarily be shown with the um, washi tape and this is again this is an image I pulled off the internet and I'm going to use my font they picked up to put the title iPhone this bit is very tone on tone um, the lighting in these videos is not great I really apologise for that um, but I really wanted to get start doing some crafting and I didn't pull out my big main lights but hopefully you know it's not detracting too much from the video for you so I'm just going to stick one of those gold Joan Hadfield circles down and put the 6 on because I do now have an iPhone 6 and so I just wanted to document that and um, again trying to stick this little tiny arrow down with an ATG was not ideal um, but I really need to <laughs> find my wet glue so I'm going to stick another one of those um, little wood veneer um, banner pieces down and I really love those and I think I've nearly used them all up now so that's great um, I'm not going to have them sitting in my stash <coughs> um, sorry um, I'm now going to be working on the last two cards for um, the second side and this is just talking about um, the beautiful roast dinner that I made um, I did struggle slightly um, with the title for this because I did want to put roast pork um, because it was slow roasted pork that I made but I didn't have the letters <laughs> so um, I do end up just putting the title of um, pork dinner and I, you know I kind of like the title it doesn't you know I just wanted a little bit something descriptive on there but <laughs> that is any problem with trying to use um, you know fonts up that you're going to get limited with your letters so I'm really happy with it. and I really love this card actually um, and I don't know why I didn't use it um, actually better because I do cover up a lot of the gold um, detailing on there but again I'm not going to worry about it I brought it to use um, it's really stupid to hold on to cards waiting for the perfect card um, to use. And then I'm now just going to be working on my last card, 
which is the one talking about me when I started getting sick. Um, and this is why these Chamel stamps are great because they've all got like phrases that are out just generally just being crappy and how things don't go your way. <coughs> so um, I really like how they look. So um, that card has it pre-printed like cheers on it. And so I'm just going to be like making it kind of ironic so it says like cheers, that's real life, um, like getting poorly again. So again, keeping it really simple and just showing a picture here of my hot toddy that I created. So thank you very much guys and I'm now going to show a share of my completed layouts. Thanks, bye! Hi guys, I thought I would just come and show you um, uh, pictures of my layouts or close up my layouts. Now I've got all the journaling in. Um, and journaling is an important part of this project and I really enjoy how it looks so I'm just going to show you um, each of these let's put the one behind me so this is the top row, so this is just my um, wheat card and I really like how this looks, it's really simple I really love these leather um, kind of effect ones from We Are Memory Keepers so I've used that for my number I really like these wooden um, banners, that's what they're called and this one says be bright so that works really well with my photo talking about my new hair I've kind of used the repetition of these, these Studio Calico hearts and these Jen Hadfield um, little gold discs so I really like how that looks and it picks up the gold from this Chamel card the next um, layer is talking about Broadchurch and again I've used one of those um, wooden banners which says awesome and then I've talked to you about the gym and this one says moving forward so they worked really well I did root from my stash and just include another little bit of wood veneer I did use a lot of wood veneer in my 2013 album so um, really like how it works and how it's not two dimensional um, and then this is the bottom one which is just talking about my first week back at work and I really like how this looks again using a repetition of like that little gold circle I've used um, those Chamel um, stamps which um, she did make for two peas but then I bought when she was selling them off her own site um, and I always kick myself that I never got them in the first place um, and especially as the start of my year has been a little bit poo um, with like sickness and different things so some of these fra fra <laughs> phrases have worked really well um, I did just include this little typewriter wood veneer because I'm talking about work so I thought that would go quite well and then just with the wood veneers and kind of these gold bits kind of match up I've got the three banners and I think it's kind of all in all quite equally balanced um, as I said I do then pick out my one font that I want to use throughout a week as well and then this is my next layout um, I did use more of my images than I planned on here but that's all okay so first one up is this talking about the books that I, um, I've read so this is book two I did just colour this in and then fussy cut that out to add to it. Again, I've included my star rating. Then this is just talking about the crop I went to and this is my new way of storing all my Spectral Noir pens. <coughs> Here is my second row. So this is just talking about my new iPhone. Again, I'm using those banners because I really like that and I picked up some more wood veneers. And then these are two images that I coloured. This is a filler card that I made on purpose, like, you know, because I knew I wanted to use this my album. And this is a little image that I coloured in, um, which I absolutely adore, that image. And I just wanted to talk a little bit here about how I've been doing more and more colouring. And that image kind of worked perfectly with that. And then finally, um, again, I've used another wooden veneer elements and that um, font. So this is talking about the slow roast of pork that I made and then starting to feel sick and again I've used that <laughs> Chamel um, stamp set so I'm, I'm all in all I'm really happy with how this layout came out I just want to say this was the one that um, I did talk you through my plan um, of how I was going to lay it out and all in all you can see that I've mainly kept um, to what my plan was I've kind of swapped these two around um, and I've kind of had another little bit here that I've swapped around <coughs> but all in all I'm really happy that how it came out and I find it so much easier to work from this plan so I want to thank you very much guys for watching um, my um, process videos for my pro project life um, and I hope um, I've you know inspired you to you know to do some different stuff in your project life this year 
Um, so far, I know I'm only like on week two, but I'm really enjoying it and I'm enjoying the amount of journaling and stuff that I'm getting in. Um, and the fact that I'm journaling straight away with Project Life, um, whereas with my albums and my layouts, I do tend to leave it towards the end. So, really happy that I'm getting this done and just done and dusted, really. So, thank you very much, guys, and I'll speak to you all again soon. Bye!